No, just because we want, uh, again, uh, uh, to make sure that with this new regulation, and you're right, we announced this morning who are the, um, the platforms which will be uh, regulated under the GMA with their own services, 22 services. But of course, this is the first time that we are doing it. It's extremely important for these companies. They will have now six months to comply with our new rules, you know, to give more freedom for end, for end users, to make sure that you could, char, you could select your own apps, uh, that you are not, not a prisoner from this platform, that platform, uh, that you will be able to compete in fair competition, that you will make sure that when uh, your small companies, your data are not stolen uh, uh, to have a platform selling the same product and compete with you unfairly. So this is everything that we are now putting in place in Europe. But of course, uh, um, uh, we, um, we have some very specific uh, obligations and rules. Uh, you should be a systemic platform, a big platform. You should have uh, 7.5 billion of revenues at least, or 75 billion of market cap. You should have more than 10,000 professional users, or, or 45 million uh, uh, end consumers. And then, of course, we have some specific rules for all the services. Some are obvious, some other will need more time to uh, uh, make sure that uh, these companies um, um, have to comply with our new rules. So we are now starting this morning the process. Now, I noticed that there's an investigation on the iMessage, another on uh, the iPad OS, and in general, you consider Apple one of these big gatekeepers. So I was just wondering, do you think Apple is too big and therefore should be break up? No, I, I never, I, I don't speak on this company or that company. It's not my, um, it's not my, my job, it's not my mission. Um, uh, I enjoy to be able to offer to uh, uh, successful companies, European or non-European, uh, to have the ability to enter into our uh, digital market, which is, by the way, um, one and a half bigger than the one in the United States, so it's very attractive. We are happy that uh, big uh, non-European uh, companies could benefit from it, but we have rules. But again, uh, if these companies are big, it means I'm coming from business myself, it means that, it means that they have been successful, which is good. Uh, so, uh, but, 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 there is a but. Uh, with uh, a new rules, you have, of course, some sanctions. And if this company is normal, that's life, that's the life of business. Uh, it has been, by the way, voted by our democracy. Um, and if these companies do not comply, and I hope that they will all comply, then we will have the ability to have fine up to 10% uh, of their global revenue worldwide, even maybe if this is uh, uh, done on a repeated way, uh, up to 20%. And uh, if they continue, yes, we have tools, including um, to break up this company, but I will never want to use it. And I can tell you that the discussion that we have with uh, all these companies are professional, and I believe going in the right direction.